Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Thanks so much for taking the time today, guys. Really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Zainab, starting with you, Alicia has a lot going on during the second season. What can you tease about her arc without giving too much away? Um, Alicia, Alicia goes through a lot of changes um, in the second season. I think that we peel away some of the layers. You know, in the first season, we got to see Alicia be funny. We got to see her support Nora. And I mean, in this, we get to see kind of her own quest. And, and we get to see like the beginning of, of her arc, which is which is a wonderful and you know she already in the first season did what she wanted and so the second season she gets a taste of a little bit more power and like what does that look like when a person does what they want anyway you know i get the feeling that she's kind of like an office space character did you see that movie where no matter what he does he gets he yeah. comes off looking like a rose. Let's, let's put yeah. it that way. Yes, yeah. reports and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It fits <laughs> right into that. Kevin, how long will Luke be testing Alicia? And will he change that a little bit? I as think the um, he's going to be te testing her as long as the, this afterlife exists. And as long as she is in either in the real world or in this afterlife. I think... He's not one to um, to garner more friends. It seems like he has just kind of like a, a few, and he and with the exception of Nathan, he has uh, interesting relationships with them. Um, so I, I think that with with Alicia, um, he's he's constantly trying to repel her and keep her close. Uh, so he's try, constantly trying to draw her into in, in, into a game. Luke's always looking for a game of distraction, something fun to do to make life uh, and his afterlife worth living, I think. And um, in this season, especially, I think Alicia's very much part of that. And as well as trying to use her to figure out what's going on with the specific storyline involving his dreams. The worst day of Luke's life is, the worst day of Luke's afterlife is going to be when Alicia quits her job. <laughs> he will come find you. He will come find you. <laughs> Now, despite how annoying he is, I think Alicia has a soft spot I mean, for Luke. He does. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely think the second season reveals some things um, that makes her much more appreciative uh, for his presence. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a chance that they could kind of go in the same arc as Nathan and Nora? Are they going to get together? That's what you're asking? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Just say it like it's like it is, Chris. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't know. I mean, that's you know, every every time Kevin and I get a script, like we don't know. You know, we don't know what it's gonna be. I think that we're on the ride, just like the fans and the audience, they're on a the ride. I, and I think I don't even know at this point if Greg knows. Yeah, I think they're kind of just doing it out too. They like the I think that there was even maybe the thought of it, but then it was. I think they're kind of waiting to see how these ep the episodes come together and then how the reads go. It's very much like a collective process in this. And it, it's such a weird, unique relationship that, that is kind of informing itself as it's going on. It's kind of like it's, it's, it's like distilling in its own way. So we'll see, we'll see where it goes and what it becomes. But uh, your guess would be as good as mine. And Kevin, if you could build your own afterlife, what would it be modeled after? Oh God, I think something nostalgic. I we, like I, 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 whenever I think about this, it's something like the Ghostbusters firehouse or not something not practical at all. <laughs> you know, like it, it just something that's uh, like remind maybe like an <laughs> an old house that I lived in as a kid. Just something that would not be very good for my mental health. I'm sure. <laughs> and real quick, say now, what about you? Um, I'm gonna go real specific here. Mine is like just like a, a Groundhog Day meets um, Studio 54. I just I just want to be somewhere in some like you know sequence bell bottoms, just freaking dancing. boogieing all day dancing and dancing. <laughs> same day repeated over and over again. The same songs set list over and over again. <laughs> what? Well, I hope we can all meet there. That sounds great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Carissa. Bye-bye.